What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today... I want to show you a winning Titamon deck. That new purple Titamon that came around in BT6, that looked like a fun card. That looked like the kind of card that could end up being pretty good and making a little bit of an impact. Well, does seem like it is, in fact, pretty good and may, in fact, may be making a little bit of an impact. Shout out to... Ensan Gaming for making me aware of this list that was tweeted out by Sutaya Suzuka TG. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of words, <laughs> a lot of letters. But yeah, they've gone and tweeted it out. So let's take a little bit of a gander. Now, in terms of the Digitama here, I'm fairly sure we've got a 4-1 split here. The way they've arranged it is kind of confusing, but I don't think it's a 1-1 split. I do believe it is a 4-1 split. And the 4 we've got here is Demi Merrimon. The purple Demi Merrimon, obviously. It'd be weird if it was a different colour now, wouldn't it? Now, this is the one that we do actually see coming around a fair bit in purple decks. When it's deleted, you draw a card. Simple as that. We like this, ladies and gentlemen. We like it. Draw power is very important in every card game, Digimon not excluded. So being able to draw yourself a card when the Digimon that has Digivolt from it gets deleted is clearly a very good thing indeed. The one-off that we see here is the Sunamon, the one that came around in BT6. When you trash a card in your hand using one of your effects, draw a card. Now, obviously, we're going to be doing that a little bit in this deck. It would be weird <laughs> if we didn't. But it's just another way to draw cards, quite frankly. It's another way to get more cards in your hand. And that's got to be a good thing, right? That has got to be the kind of thing you're aiming for here. Because cards are good. Cards let you do stuff. There we go. So moving over into our level 3 then, we see a playset of Gabumon. Because when it's deleted, you draw two cards and then trash a card from your hand. Oh look, we're already trashing cards with effects. Again, this doesn't give you a huge card advantage. You only get one extra card, but you see a lot more cards. So you see two cards. You've got to trash one, but you trash after drawing. So you can either trash a card you already had in your hand or you can trash a card that you drew, it doesn't matter. And that just gives you, well, just extra help here, quite frankly. And that's got to be a good thing. Now, I'm going to show you the deck list at the end of the video, and you are going to see that this Sukaimon was a very difficult one to figure out what it is. But I'm fairly sure there is a place of the Sukaimon that when it gets deleted, you gain a memory. It certainly makes sense to play that card, because gaining memory is good. You're going to have cards deleted. This sounds like a lot of fun to me. But seriously, when I show you the deck list, just look, because this was not an easy one to figure out at all gets deleted gain a memory yeah that's a good card quite frankly ladies and gentlemen that's a good card we've then got three copies of the demi devamon and this is a two cost to play normally and there's nothing else to it it's just a two cost to play normally but that's cheap we expect to be paying free memory so this is a level 3 that you can get into play more cheaply, and quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, that's a very good thing indeed. We then have a single copy of Gazimon here. This is free cost to play normally like we would usually expect. But on any player's turn, your opponent cannot gain memory except with Tamer effects. Now, maybe you don't draw into this card, maybe you don't get it into play, although it's purple, we have tricks. But this is a kind of card that you're going to see teched into a whole bunch of decks because it basically just shuts down many decks. There are a bunch of decks that are relying on gaining memory through option cards or Digimon skills, things of that nature. They are all shut down by this. This gives you a big advantage. And then we have just a singlet copy again of Goblimon. Now this has an inheritable skill whereby once during your turn when you trash a card in your hand using one of your effects 
this Digimon gains 2,000 power for the turn. So it gives you an option to just have one Digimon that is just that little bit more powerful than others, which can absolutely be the difference when you trash a card from your hand, but we've already seen that Gabamon lets us do that, so I think we're doing quite all right. Now, moving over into level 4s here, we have got King Kakumon. When you are attacking, you may trash a card in your hand to delete one of your opponent's level 3 Digimon. So again, we are trashing cards from our hand, as we've seen, that gives us a big advantage. But every time you attack, you can trash a card to delete a level 3 Digimon. You can't tell me that's not a really good effect, which is going to end up being really good. And while we're here, we've also got Ginkakumon. Once during your turn, when you trash a card in your hand with your own effect, you gain a memory. So you're hoping to have a Digimon that has evolved from both of them on the field at the same time. So you trash a card. Delete one of your opponent's level 3 Digimon, but then you get to gain a memory at the same time. And this is what Purple does, right? Purple like their tricks. Purple like their combos, and this works out really rather nicely. There is a single copy of Ogamon here. When you play it, you trash a card in your hand to delete a level 4 or lower Digimon. So there's just another option there for deleting weak Digimon, which is definitely going to give you an advantage. And we've got just, again, just a singlet copy here of Devamon. And this is the Retaliation one. It's got Retaliation as both an inheritable and a non-inheritable skill. So if you delete this or a Digimon that has Digivolved from it by attacking, you know, in a fight, you are going to be going down with it. So you've been warned, ladies and gentlemen. You've been warned. Although, again, just a, just a single copy thereof. And then we see a full playset of Ginkakumon Promote. Yes, there are a lot of level 4s in this deck. But this is a Digimon with Rush, which means you can attack with it the turn you play it, which is clearly a very good thing. And when you play it, you may place one Ginkakumon and or one Ginkakumon from your trash into this Digimon's Digivolution cards in any order, and if you place two cards with this effect, you draw a card. So all that discarding, the trashing we saw earlier, gets the card you want in your discard. And then I told you we want a card that is Digivolved from Kinkakumon and one that's Digivolved from Ginkakumon, but actually here you can have both. So you attack with Ginkakumon Promote, and you're like, oh, well, I'm attacking, I get to delete one of my opponent's level 3 Digimon by trashing a card in my hand. Oh, I've trashed a card in my hand using a skill, I get to gain a memory. I keep telling you, ladies and gentlemen, Purple Digimon and all of their weird little tricks, I'm kind of into it. It's kind of fun and wonderful and awesome. You are going to have some good turns with this. Moving over into level 5, we've got a playset of Rebellion and when you did evolve into it, you can trash a card in your hand to gain Blocker and Retaliation. <laughs> now, it is a black slash purple Digimon, but that's kind of irrelevant. We're a mono purple deck here, but it's still kind of cool. It is a nice little bonus, but really here, we are very much focused on the purple. But you got block around retaliation, which basically means either you block and they go down and you survive, or you block something bigger than you, and even though you go down, they go down with you. Sounds good to me, ladies and gentlemen. Sounds good to me. Now, we also here have a playset of Skull Greymon. When it is trashed from your hand by your own effects, we've seen a couple of them already, you can place this under one of your purple Digimon as its bottom evolution card. Or you can attack with it, and you get to trash a card from your hand to give yourself an extra 3,000 power. That puts you up to 10, which will beat basically any level 5, except a few very rare exceptions. And it's got Retaliation as an inheritable skill, so you can Digivolve from this, or just whack this down under any of your purple Digimon to give them Retaliation. Essentially, any time you trash a card from your hand, if you can make it Skull Greymon, you can just whack it under any purple Digimon to give that Digimon Retaliation. Tell me that doesn't sound like fun, ladies and gentlemen. 
That is a very, very cool skill. That is one that is really going to help you during the course of the game. Now, we do also have a couple of copies coming in here of Lady Devamon, which is a card that purple players tend to like. When you did evolve, you draw two and then trash two. So again, you're not gaining any cards. You're cycling cards. But you get to see two more cards, which is good. They might be cards you need. And also, we've seen so many examples in this deck already of how trashing cards can give you advantages. Either skills that activate when you trash cards or cards that can be played from the trash. And this allows you to just feed into that, which is a very good thing indeed. We have a couple copies coming in here of Jokermon. Now, this one came around in BT5. When it's deleted, you may play a purple Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. Nice. Because you know what? We've got some really good purple level threes here that we are going to want to get on the field more easily. And, you know, it's things like you're playing one Gazamon, so you end up trashing it at some point, but then Jokemon goes down and you can play it if you need to against the, a relevant kind of deck. That sounds fun to me, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds like it's going to work. Now, we do just then have one copy of Black War Growlmon. It's got Digiburst free, so you can just Digiburst, well, just trash free evolution cards to use it. Bearing in mind, we got tricks to get extra evolution cards here. And unless you play a purple level free Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. Yeah, it's just another way. I told you we would have ways to get these one-off techs into play and this is a great example of it you attack you get to play a purple level three from the trash you don't need to actually pay for it this sounds like a fun thing it's also got an inheritable skill whereby once during your turn when you attack you can delete one of your other digimon to unsuspend it of course unsuspending it means that you get to attack again with the level six you've digivolved into it but also, you get to delete one of your Digimon, and we've seen some Digimon here that have pretty good deletion skills. So again, you've just got all that great combo stuff going on, and that is a very, very good thing indeed. Now moving into level 6s, I told you that this was a Titamon deck, and I wasn't lying. It is built around Titamon. There are 5 level 6s, 4 of them are Titamon. When you did Jevolve, you may trash a card from your hand. We've seen that can give you advantages. And then you can play a purple level 4 or lower Digimon from your trash without paying its cost. This one does not say you don't activate any skills. So, although there are plenty of options here, you've got to be, at least as far as I'm concerned at least, you've got to be thinking about Ginkakumon Promote, surely. That seems like the best option here. That seems like the one you would definitely want to be going for. Because you're playing it for free. And you can attack the turn you play it. And when you play it, you can put a King Kakumon and a King Kakumon under it as evolution cards. To gain the advantages of those skills. Bearing in mind, you can attack straight away. So you do get to activate both of those skills. Because you are attacking straight away. And this Titamon combo, it's not the first time I've seen this combo thrown around. It's an excellent combo. But being able to trash a card from your hand to play King Gakubon Promote, which has got Rush and gets those two evolution cards, it's just ridiculous. Oh yeah, and then on your turn, once during your turn, when you trash a card in your hand, you get an extra 2,000 power and security attack plus one. Bearing in mind, we've seen there's a bunch of ways we can trash cards from our hand in this deck. So this is going to end up as a 14,000 power level six. That is higher than your average. That will get, I'll be honest with you, unless they're boosted, this is going to get any level six. And you got security attack plus one, knowing that the only thing in the security that's going to delete you is going to be a level seven. And even then, you are higher than some level 7s, the weaker ones. This is cool. This is the kind of thing you should frankly be getting a little bit excited about. This is an extremely good card. And you can see here, the deck really is built to take advantage of Titamon and all of its great combos. And it does that very nicely indeed. Now, we do have one copy of Mastermon coming in here. And again, don't get too excited, right? It's a singlet copy. This is a Titamon deck. 
but there is a mastermind, so we'll mention it quickly. When you did evolve into it, you trashed one security from each player's stack. And then you get to play a level 4 or less purple or yellow Digimon from your trash without paying. Well, obviously it's not going to be a yellow Digimon. We ain't playing none of them. It's going to be Ginkakumon Promote. And yes, there are other options here. Absolutely, there are other cards you could choose instead. But it, it, it's probably going to be Ginkakumon Promote, right? It is essentially just a fourth way to activate this skill this combo call it what you will and it works kind of beautifully now we do have a couple of tamers coming in here as well we've got just one copy of the purple matt ashida yeah there are a bunch of single copies in this deck list that make me a little nervous but seems to be working it's one of those that puts you up to free memory at the start of your turn if you want they're already and when you play you may return a purple option card or purple digimon from your trash to your hand. So, again, the theory of only playing one is, look, I'm, I'm going to get the extra memory. I don't need to play a million of these. One will get me the extra memory. But also, it lets you recover a purple Digimon when you play it, and that's going to be a very big advantage. The other thing we see here is a couple copies of that Tamer, which I suggested might be teched into a bunch of decks. It's Takumi Aiba. Now, on your turn, when you did Devolve, you can suspend it to draw a card. So, any turn you did Devolve, you get to draw a card. It's, it's frankly ridiculous draw power. But also, any level 3 that attacks loses you a memory. Now, this deck has a bunch of level 3s with which you can attack, but that's not what the deck is built to do. So, if you're against a deck that is built to do that, you can really punish your opponent. And if it's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt your opponents, don't, don't play the card. There we go. And just to finish off, there are a couple of option cards. There are two copies of Underworld's Call. A four-cost card when you trash it in your hand using an effect, you draw a card. That's going to help you cycle through your deck that little bit faster. Or you can play it, and you may play a purple level 4 or lower Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Now, you're paying 4 to do this. So, it's still a cheaper way to play Ginkakumon Promote. It's 4 memory rather than 6. But it's not actually playing it for free. It's playing it as a 4 cost. And then we've got one more single copy. It's nice to have one more singlet in the deck. It would be sad if we couldn't finish off with one of these. And it is just Grave Memory Boost. You return a purple Digimon card from your trash to your hand when you play it. And again, you want to be getting some of these back. Then you put it in the battle area. And at any point, you can then use the delay skill to gain two memory. So you're essentially... I mean, firstly, it's fun... Because your opponent never knows when you're going to activate this. So this is going to make your opponent have to play around it until it actually hits the field. And secondly, you're essentially paying one memory to get a purple Digimon back from the trash. That sounds pretty gosh darn good to me. Here is the list as a whole. There's a lot of single cards here. Also, seriously, check out how hard it is to figure out that Sukaimon. Oh, it's a free cost to play. Zero cost to Digivolve. Level three. Wow. We've never seen any of them before. But you can see on the far right hand one, there's a tiny little foot sticking out, which gives it away. It's a fun deck. I don't know if it's my kind of deck, but I'm certainly going to have a play around with it to figure it out. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. So, you know, let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would you? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.